Welcome back to the progressing shop. Today we are going to look at how to remove uh, those bushings from inside the uh, spread body of a DMS. So there is one of those at the top and one of those here at the bottom. Uh, we are going to replace the top one today. Uh, so this is what the this is, uh, used one, this is what they look like. Here is a new one that we will put after. So the problem is to extract the uh, the bushings from inside here. Uh, there are different techniques. People try to either pry here with a screwdriver to try to peel it off and then break it and take it out. There's risk of damaging the uh, the body doing that. I wasn't very successful when I tried that. So I made this uh, small thing that looks like uh, you would find in a regular extractor. So you just cut a piece of metal, it's relatively thick. Um, and it's basically the same size as the bushing on the outside and you cut the flanges on both sides so that you can uh, you will be able to insert it here in the shock slide it under the bushing and then make it come flat so that we'll push it from the back and get the, the bushing out so the technique to push from there at the back of the strut, there is not much of an opening, uh, that's just where the shaft of the uh, strut comes. But through there, you can fit a 3 8 extension. Um, actually, not this one, but I have one that fits. Uh, probably this one. Yes. So here you can fit a 3 8 extension. And so the idea is inside the strut body here to reach to where my plate is going to be. I'm going to use a stack of those large sockets. They are slightly over uh, one inch. It's like an inch and a quarter, inch and eight here. So here is how it's going to look like inside. I have a um, socket with a 3.8 to help inch adapter there so that will fit my uh, extension. Uh, so I'm going to slide that in followed by another extension and at the end I use a 34 uh, mil which is slightly uh, shorter than the side of the shaft but will push straight on the uh, on my small piece here that will extract the bushing. So I'm going to put this, this and this inside and stuck this at the bottom to click it here and I will slide my piece sideways like this and then flip it back so it rests against the bushing and I can push the bushing out. So here you are, you can see my piece just under the bushing, there is a stack of sockets underneath and now I'm gonna go take that in the, in the press so here we are, I have uh, the strut body tied down in the press, I'm going to be ready to start to push down on my shaft. So the first first thing that will fall out will be the uh, uh, the bushing, the uh, seal, sorry, uh, that is at the end. And then you continue pressing. And you can see the bushing coming at the bottom. So here you can see the bushing at the bottom. I put a, a second extension to be able to press the rest of the bushing. Up, there you go, and the bushing is out. Now I can just release this, go clean up, and uh, we'll put the new bushing back in. So now we're going to put this. Uh, Pushing back in, so first thing is to uh, grease. I'm gonna also grease the inside of the uh, shaft here. Of course, I cleaned everything up before, it's uh, completely clean inside. And so, those uh, bushings have. Uh, they have this cut here, so they uh, they will kind of squeeze in. Uh, it's just a press fit, slide it in. So usually I just get it started like this, and I take a small rubber mallet to 
get it started. Uh, so you tap it in and at the end we'll finish it in the press. So to finish pressing the bushing, a uh, 41 millimeter socket is the uh, perfect size. You uh, push the bushing down. So when you are done pressing at the end, the 41 mm socket is going to sit exactly at the edge of uh, where the uh, your seal is going to come so it's going to stop right there and so you know you have reached the where your your bushing need, needs to go um so now i just have to pop a new seal back at the top and that's it uh this will be ready for reassembling and going in the car after greasing everything of course so last part is uh, putting the seal back on, also make sure you have grease, same thing here.